All right, so in this lesson, we're gonna learn the mechanics, the kind of anatomy, the basics of the nose. That way we can draw cute simplifications of the nose. But before we know how to draw these simplifications, we have to know what it is we're simplifying. And so here's the basic of the nose. I like to think of it like this. I like to think of it as like an upside down kite. So if you draw like a, a T like this, this is incorporate the whole entire nose. Make a small diamond shape down here then come up like this. This represents the, the main shape of the nose. And then have like a kind of shape like this coming off of it. And this represents the upper bridge of the nose that goes between the eyes. This is the triangle piece that kind of fits right in here. And this doesn't represent a bulk of the nose. And I like to kind of imagine a oval in this section here. And then there's another oval here that overconnects these two pieces. And that makes up the whole entire bulk of the nose. If you think of the shape of the nose like this, it'll really help draw it better. So let's go ahead now and see how, how do these shapes make up the nose. So you have the bridge of the nose here, comes down. This is where the nostrils are going to be. So this is the underside of the nose. And then you have your nostrils come up here, like so. You have this part right here that comes up. This represents the inside portion of the nose. Then you have the flanges of your nose, which come off the nose like this here, and off of the nose here like that. And as you can see, that basic shape represents the nose. Now, what you choose to emphasize or to not emphasize will give you a great detail about your nose. So for example, let's go ahead, and make a copy of I'll just make a copy of the nose only. And we have this nose over here. So use the eraser. We're going to kind of erase a little bit of the nose here. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on here and figure out what, what are the different ways we can simplify the nose from the front view. Well, let's say we really want to represent this, this round part of the nose here. We want to kind of just get a, give a couple lines that kind of add into that. So we can add a line kind of like this here or make it a little bit more straight. We can even have it lower so we can have it more right about here. And not only are we simplifying, but sometimes we are like exaggerating or minimizing. Now let's say I want to represent just the nostril here. So I can have just the nostril kind of be represented like that as a little shape. Um, or I can even use just like a line that represents that part of the nostril there. I might do a little underhook here and then sometimes it's sexier just to not have the flanges at all when drawing females. But I really like to usually represent this part of the nose right here in some way, the coming down part. But we don't have to do that. We can actually just represent this whole entire nostril right here as kind of like this triangle shape here. We can have like a little bit of the nostril inside of there. And that's, that's honestly it. Like you can really represent the nose with just that much information. And believe it or not, it's enough to, to symbolize a nose when you see a face. There's many other different ways we can simplify the nose, but just keep in mind those are the main shapes that make up the nose. So again, let's go over those shapes. You have the main kind of circle shape here. It's kind of oval shape. Another oval that attaches to that, another oval that attaches to over here. Then you have this kind of triangle piece that comes down below like this here. That represents the underside of the nose. So when you see the nose from the side view of a face, actually let's just do more of like, you have the eyeballs here and then the nose is gonna come out like so. When you represent the nose like this, you have the nostril right here, boom. What's important about the nose is you have this underside right here. As it comes down, this is like the philtrum before you get to the lip and the lip is built off of the philtrum. You have kind of an angle here to your your lips. And then it comes out and you have your chin, right? So anyway, basic idea here is that you have this under part of the nose right right in here, this whole this whole plane here. And that's represented here in the front view. If you look at photos, you can often see that depending on if they have kind of a nose from the side view that kind of points down like this, you know, like that kind of nose, you might not be able to see it, or if they're if the camera angle is kind of looking down at the face a little bit, then it might make that part of the nose vanish. Then you have this whole center bridge part of the nose, which is 
kind of rounded and it kind of has a shape like this right here, right? So this is the side plane of the nose right here. This is the bridge on the top. So you might have a highlight here, highlight here, maybe a highlight on the flange there. Then you kind of have this shape right here. And that goes, it's kind of more flat. That goes between the eyes. And then you'll have this kind of dip part in here that goes to the eyes themselves. It kind of almost like a skip ramp that dips down like this. Right? That's the basics of the nose. So now you can think of other ways to simplify certain parts of that part of the nose. So for example, Sometimes in comic books you'll see things like this where they might want to represent this part of the nose right here. Maybe just slightly hint at the side plane of the nose. Hint at this whole entire part of the nose here coming down. Right here that kind of comes down like this. Or you can kind of also just kind of slightly hint at this part of the nose right here like that. And then we can kind of hint this inside of the nose part here. Maybe hint at a couple lines here, a couple lines over here on the outside. Hint at that, maybe um, hint at a highlight or something. Now you can see that we have this kind of very simplification of the nose. Now this isn't uh, so much of a cute nose, and so we can change it, you know, to have a different structure. But you keep that same structure in mind when you're when you're doing the nose, since so you kind of have this shape. And I'm actually going to start from the center part here. We'll kind of come up and this is the basic you know shape of the nose like that maybe you have a couple of lines like this coming in there now you have a cute little nose and if you want maybe you can even kind of add where you might hint at the nostrils and that's pretty much it and that's your nose and so understanding the mechanics of the nose first though will help you understand how you want to simplify the nose there's so many different ways to simplify the nose and you'll see many different kinds of noses in comic books right so another way you'll see noses represented oftentimes in comic books will just be this mostly just the button part of the nose this bottom part of the nose it's not very often you'll see the rest of the nose um, drawn at all but you'll have a little line right here for the for the nostril they might draw like a tiny little line here like oops just a tiny little line right here kind of sometimes overlapping that a little bit and then that's going to move into your other nostril which is going to be like this here and then you're just going to have slight curved here and a slight curve here almost like straight up and down more than than a curve though and then sometimes you'll have like a little little lines right here that represent things. That's it. It's just a, just a tiny little nose, um, sometimes like this right here. That's a common nose you'll see. And I know the nose, when you see it isolated by itself, you know, sometimes looks a little bit funny, but when it's on a face, it actually looks, looks pretty good. And um, a lot of the artists for like Harley Quinn might do noses like this here. And what I'll often do like, and uh, especially if it's a more simplified face, so there's not so much detail in the face, it's um, for my graphic novel called End of All. It's a free online graphic novel at endofallcomic.com. I'll simply just draw like this kind of shape for the nostrils right here. And then maybe just slight, just hint at the flanges. And then a slight hint at this bottom part of the nose. That's a little too big. I'm going to use a smaller. This is a slight hint right here at the at that part. Remember, this is like that triangle pyramid thing I'll tell you about with the with the kite shape like that and so I'm kind of representing that with just that little couple little lines just to kind of represent that shape there and then sometimes I might even draw a little couple lines like that but that right there is enough to represent the nose believe it or not and here's just a quick example uh, some of these pages I mean like this page I drew so long ago um, I'm talking years ago and so <laughs> it's funny just seeing my own work um, and how how different it's become. But you can see here how her nose I represent with just that under part there, a little bit of the flanges, and then just a couple lines here because I like her have this butt nose, and then I represent that that part of the the side of the nose there, and that's that. Uh, when when they're smaller away, I can't get nearly as much detail, but I still you know was able to get the expression of her face there. But yeah, keep in mind also, a lot of this is you're, you're trying to draw fast, you're trying to get your stuff done quickly. But yeah, so 
why am I on page like 50 something now? And I still help out with occasional pages, um, but now I, I ran out of time, so I have other other artists um, taken over, and it's also gone to black and white. Maybe see one of those black and white pages here. Um, I like the, I like the the newer artists that I have working on it now. Um, does a really good job. And you know when I draw, like you notice, how it has more of this manga type style. Uh, there's some things I will I'll come in here and I'll, I'll fix up and change. Like um, I didn't like how. I didn't like how he didn't give her a lip here. Like, you know, th like this is fine when they're far, far away. But here I can clearly see her lips. So I drew her lips in here. I drew her lips in here. I didn't like the way he drew her eyes. So I drew her eyes the way I, I like to draw eyes. And then I just represent the nose very simply right here. And so representing noses sometimes just, you know, with very minimal detail is the way to go. Whether you're drawing manga style or you're drawing American comic book style, it's still that minimization. And sometimes the nose might be as simple as just two nostrils, especially if the face is smaller away. Quick Google search for Supergirl comic, and here's a quick, uh, just a button nose. Notice that a lot of it is just represented with the actual coloring itself. That is this whole undershading right here. That's that kind of diamond shape. You can also represent in drawing. And then some of the flanges are represented in, in it too. But the inking and penciling was just simply a nozzle here, a nozzle there, and a couple lines to show that it's a button nose. And that was that. But you know, this is where your own style comes in. So for example, for that nose, you can actually, you know, add like my own style. I'd probably add a little more detail. So you have this kind of, this nostril shape here. I might actually, you know, slightly, I, mean, I don't know if I do the, the, the flange there, but I would definitely want to represent the under part of the nose. So I have the one nostril there. I have another, my other nostril here, just slightly represented. And then I might want to show this just very slight couple lines here just to show the underside of the nose like that. Um, I like showing that underside of the nose even with inking, even though it's going to be most likely covered in the uh, either their the screen tone or or coloring portion. And just a couple, a couple lines here like they did to represent that upper part of the nose. You can actually come more straight with it um, if you wanted to get it closer. There's tons of different ways you can, you can do that. You can also just kind of come like this as one one piece and then if you want to, you can even maybe kind of represent just the edge of the, no of the nostril there. Have a slight, you can even do that kind of this like triangle shape here, represent the side of the nose. And now you have, you know, pretty cool looking nose that would fit nice on a face. And just to prove that these noses will fit nice on a face, let's go ahead and add them over here to, to this face. I'm going to go ahead and take this face that I drew very quickly just for this uh, nose thing. And we're going to get rid of her nose here. Maybe I should copy that just in case I want to put it back on. We'll take our nose off, give our nose job here, and maybe we'll put the nose back on in a little bit. So I'm going to save that to its own layer, drag it over here. All right, so let's go ahead and take our nose off now. Easy way probably just be to go just like that, hit delete on the keyboard, boom, nose gone. All right, so let's see, let's go ahead and take our pick of noses. Let's try this last nose right here real quick. So grab that nose and whatever drawing program you're using, or if you're working by hand, obviously you'd have to draw each nose on it. You can also trace it. That's a quick way to do it. Nose is a little bit bigger than the face. So let's go ahead and just pull it down. But whatever program you're using, you should know how to do all this kind of stuff. So I'm not teaching how to use Manga Studio. If you want to know how to use Manga Studio, which I'm using right now, it's a really, it's a really affordable program. Manga, Manga Studio 5, you don't need EX. You can just get the 5. It's often on sale on Amazon and stuff for like, you know, 30 bucks and, and thirty-nine dollars, sometimes even twenty, twenty-something dollars. So, and it has almost everything that the EX version has. So, um, unless you plan on doing multiple pages and want multiple page control, I uh, really don't need it. Like I don't. A lot of the EX stuff, I don't even use it. So, um, and I've tried the regular five version; it works great. So, as you can see, the nose looks great on her there. And we can actually try different kinds of noses. We can throw this nose on her, or this nose on her, just to see that it works. So, let's go ahead and take this nose here and move it. Give her another quick uh, nose job here. And we'll grab this nose now. We'll have to reduce it in size. Of course, we can always, you know, have her be a slight islander to her and a little bit of ethnicity. Get that same spacing that we learned above the upper lip for the philtrum. 
and bam, there you go. You can see like all these noses, they work in context once you see them in there. This is a little bit more of a manly nose, so it might not work so much in context, but you can see the original nose I drew and this nose here work, work great. Um, that nose looks really cute as well. So there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the exercise for drawing noses.